Hi there, I'm Christina from HairRomance.com and welcome back to my channel. In case you haven't tuned in before, yes, this hairbrush is my microphone. I've got another curly hair video today and it's one of my most frequently asked questions. It's how to style your curls at night so you wake up with great curls in the morning. One of the hardest things to deal with with curls is how to make them last. I personally don't need to wash my hair that often, um, as most curly girls find. And the trick is to actually find a way to sleep at night so that you preserve the shape of your curls and keep them looking good for longer. And the first trick is to clip your hair up at night. Uh, one of my favorite tricks is called pineappling and it involves using um, a scrunchie or I personally love this clip. The reason I love this clip is that you can see it actually has a flat bottom. Unlike some of the other um, claw clips on the market that ha have the claw sticking out, which is so uncomfortable, this flat bottom is amazing and it also has a uh, rubberized inside so it totally stays in place all night and is really comfortable. Uh, when I sleep I, I tend to move around a lot so I have to clip my hair right on top of my head so that it stays all night. And I'll show you what I do now. So it's pretty simple. What I do is twist my hair up lightly at the back and bring it all up onto the top of my head and just clip it in place. I try not to make it too tight at the front here so I don't squash any curls around my face and just keep the ends of my hair loose. Now if your hair's a lot longer you'll just have a little bit more sitting on top and shorter you might just reach the crown of your head. But whatever it is it should still be fine and will be the best way to clip your hair up at night. So the reason it, uh, you might have heard the term pineappling is that you tend to sort of look a little bit like a pineapple if you, especially if your hair's a little bit longer you have all these curls left on top of your head. Um, but what you want to do is uh, keep all this smooth at the back so that you're not getting any tangles or anything at night and all the shape of your curls at the front here can stay intact and that way if you're a sli side sleeper um, or even on the front you'll still have all your hair intact for the morning. Now my second tip as well is um, where you sleep at night. Using a regular cotton pillowcase is a little bit rougher and so it is worth switching to a satin or silk pillowcase. The fibres of the silk and satin are so much softer on your hair and anything that will make a little bit of difference is what I'll follow. But that really makes a difference to my hair um, if sleeping on a uh, silk pillowcase at night. Oh and here's a great trick. If you uh, don't have a pillowcase you can pick up a vintage silk scarf really cheaply from thrift stores and you can tie that around your pillowcase to create your own silk pillowcase. So then what happens when you wake up in the morning? Uh, what I like to do is still keep my hair up while I have a shower and I like to have a really hot shower so it's pretty steamy in there and then when I turn the water off is when I'll unclip my hair. I'll let my hair sort of just give it a bit of a shake and leave it out while it's in that steamy air and that tends to revive my curls a little bit already. Just take it out, give it a little bit of a shake. Uh, the same way um, if you see my curly hair video which I'll, um, I had a wash and style curly hair uh, which I'll link here. I do the same technique where I sort of put my hand in at the roots and just give my hair a little bit of a shake and that gives back any volume for any sections on the top that have been squashed but you'll find you'll have pretty good volume at the back from all your hair being held up all night. Now if you're finding that you um, still have a few sections that need restyling or you don't like to have a shower in the morning, um, you can use a water spray bottle just to give your hair a light mist in sections that need some uh, reshaping, um, dampen any curls down that are a little bit frayed um, and give them a twist around with your finger uh, just to reshape them and that will be fine. And also then if you want to use any products in the morning, um, I like to use either a little lotion or serum just to smooth over any frizzy curls, um, just to define the ends a little bit more and give my hair that little bit more polish. Uh, now an extra tip if you want mega volume on your hair if it's starting to look a bit flat around the top is to use a hair powder. Uh, I like to just sort of sprinkle these on a little bit like salt just really lightly at my roots and then give my hair a little bit of a shake just to give it more volume uh, and that's great for sort of second third day hair to give you some extra volume and lift. Now if you've had a really rough night and it, even clipping it up didn't work, uh, what you can do is give it almost like a half wash in the shower in the morning just by wetting your hair and putting some conditioner through to let your curls reshape uh, and then just dry your hair as normal is a nice sort of quick way to wash your hair without having to wash it. So it's not quite going to get there but if it's really too squashed that you can't wear it that'll save you. Or alternatively is try a braid, it's always my go-to style uh, when, I, when my hair's a little bit messy and the great thing with curly hair is that you can do a braid in a section and then sort of still highlight the curls that look good. You often find that we're more critical of our own curly hair than other people are. We're expecting it to look a certain way 
and if we notice all the differences but to everyone else it looks great so I really want to say don't worry too much if it's looking the curls aren't looking perfectly formed on day three or four don't worry about it just go with it and enjoy it I really hope these tips help I can probably get my curls to maybe day three or four sometimes but realistically probably about two days I can wear them out and on the third day I'll add a braid in uh, I hope this works for your hair and I'd love to hear how it goes I'm going to put a post up on hairromance.com with all the details and products I recommend and if you have any questions you can hit me up there Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Let's just go with that one.